Hi, this video will demonstrate how to solve a system of equations in three variables. First thing I'm going to do is pick two of my equations and eliminate one of my variables. In this case, I'm just going to pick my first two equations and eliminate the z variable. I have a positive 2z in the second equation and just a positive z in the first. So in order to eliminate it, I'm going to multiply the first equation by a negative 2. This will end up, give me a minus 2z and when I add that to the positive 2z, z will be eliminated. So when I multiply the first equation by negative 2, I've got to multiply every single term and I get minus 10x minus 6y minus 2z and on the right hand side I end up with a positive seven, uh, 68. Okay, now I'm just going to rewrite my second equation so that I can buy, combine them easily. And the way that I eliminate the z variable is just by simply adding the two together. I've got a minus 10x and a positive x, I get a minus 9x. I've got a minus 6y and a minus 3y, I get a minus 9y. And I'm going to set that equal um, to 68 plus 22, which is 90. So now I have my first equation in two variables, I've eliminated z. Now I'm going to pick my next equation, which again, I've got to use the one that I have not previously used, which will be this third one. And again, I want to eliminate the same variable that I did before. So once again, I'm going to eliminate the z term. Here I have a positive 3. So in order to eliminate the positive 3, the second time through I'm going to multiply, the, use this first equation again and multiply 3 by a negative 3. All right. So I'm going to rewrite it down here. I'd get a minus 15x, a minus 9y, a minus 3z, and that is going to be equal to a positive 102. Okay, so now I can combine these two equations and once again eliminate my z. Minus 15x, positive 14x gives me a minus x. Minus 9y plus a minus 2y gives me a minus 11y. My z's eliminate each other. 3z minus 3z gives me 0. And over here I've got 102 and a negative 42 which leaves me 60. So now I have two equations, one's here and one's here and two unknowns. So now I want to use these two equations and solve for my variables using the same elimination technique. Well, I think the easiest thing to eliminate is going to be my x, and I see here I've got a minus x and I've got here a minus 9. So the way I'm going to eliminate my x is by multiplying this through by a negative 9. Okay, so we're multiplying this equation through by a negative 9. I got minus 9 times minus x gives me 9x, so I'm going to rewrite it here. Minus 9 times minus 11y gives me a positive 99y, and a minus 9 times 60 is going to give me a minus 540. Okay, And now we can eliminate our x variable by simply combining these two equations. Minus 9x and 9x cancel. I got a 99y and a minus 9y, so that's going to leave me with 90y. And over here I've got minus 540 and a positive 90 is going to leave me a negative 450. So to solve for y, I'm going to divide both sides by 90, and I end up with y equal to minus 5, because minus 450 divided by 90 gives me a minus 5. All right, so now I know what y is. I can pick one of these two equations with the two variables to solve for x. I'm just going to use this one. Here I get a minus x, minus 11. All right, but now I know what y is, so I can plug in for y here. I'm going to plug in my minus 5, and I get that that is going to be equal to 60. I get a minus x plus 55 is equal to 60. So now I just want to solve for x by isolating x on the right left-hand side. I'm going to subtract 55 both sides. I get that minus x is equal to 5. And now if I divide or multiply by negative 1 each side, I get that x is equal to 5. So now I know my x. I'm sorry, that should be a negative 5. I know my x. 
because 5 divided by a negative 1 gives me a negative 5. I know my y, but I still don't know my z. So I can pick an equation, any equation, and figure out what z is. It looks to me like the equation to use is probably going to be this first one. It will probably be the simplest. So now I'm just going to rewrite that first equation plugging in for x because I know it, 5 times a negative 5. Plugging in for y because I know that too, plus 3 times a negative 5. All right, plus z equals negative 34. Okay, so now I get a minus 25 and a minus 15 plus z equals a negative 34. Okay, so over here I've got a minus 40 plus z equals a minus 34, but I can isolate z by just adding 40 both sides, and I end up with z equal to 6. So my last variable is 6. So my final answer is minus 5, minus 5, 6. x is minus 5, y is minus 5, z is 6.